hate the homies. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of I Hate the Homies. And we're glad you do. Rock Teasy is who I be. Episode number 72. And Griff, this one is easy. Yeah, I'm going with Dan Deardorff, Hall of Famer, Arizona. What the hell? How you going to overlook Ed Too Tall Jones, bro? Because the Cowboys suck so bad yesterday, I don't even want to talk about them. So I'm going with Dan Deardorff, the Hall of Famer from the Arizona Cardinals. And I hate the homies and the Cowboys and you, uh, Super Dave. (laughs) Don't worry about me. Worry about your Cowboys. You see what you... And this is your boy, Super Dave. But let me ask this question, Rock. So he said he don't want to talk about the Cowboys for what they – Ed Too Tall Jones from back in the day when they went no, to – No, he's a monster. I know. I purpose. I wrote it down, then I crossed it out because I was like, they suck. I'm going to suck them in. Y'all suckers. I can show yeah, don't, don't, don't put these Cowboys with those Cowboys back in the day. It's oh, a how about that? Thing. That is disrespectful. Real talk. That's Real right, talk. That's right. Look at what you got on right now. Super Bowl Raiders. It's the eighty. Oh, yeah, it's the LA. It's the LA. Can you see the LA part? <laughs> hey, hey, that don't count because that, that don't count because that wasn't the real Oakland Raiders. Exactly. That's how I feel, but I found this brand new John John, and I hate the <laughs> Packers. How about that? But guess what, y'all? We, we don't, don't care. care. Let's get it popping, man. We're going to recap college football, NFL football. How do we do this week on our picks of the week? Of course, we're going to reveal that. Yeah. Um, man, there's, I just want to say this. Saw New Orleans having a game. <laughs> <laughs> Who that nation? What? <laughs> man. Man. We're going to talk about uh, Colorado. They 4-2. and two. If y'all have been up under a dog on rock, yes, I'm going to keep on updating Colorado every single week. You know what I'm saying? It Who is what it is. Jacksonville? What's up? I thought somebody picked Jacksonville. I picked Jacksonville in uh in NFL. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but who would have thought? <laughs> Except you. <laughs> go go ahead. Pimping, pimping, man. Deion Sanders. We know he's a good coach. We know he's one of the greatest of all time, the greatest cornerback of all time. But he's also trademarking. Some of his doggone go-to lines, and he's smart businessman. It is what it is, man. We're gonna talk about that as well. Uh, we lost a legend, Dick Buckus, passed away. Uh, mm-hmm. which, man, probably one of the meanest to ever play the game. And of course, man, we're gonna highlight our HBCU hero or she world of the week. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that. You guys have been asking us to highlight and showcase our HBCUs. So uh, we're going to add that to I Hate the Homies. It is what it is. On that note, Ray Duggar, let's go. Ah, I hate the homies. Uh, Super Dave, what'd you do uh, between podcasts, homie? All I did was watch football, man. That's all I care about right now. Just for one of week. Year. For one yeah, week, you ain't do nothing else. If football is only on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and Mondays. Yeah, keep going. Because it's going to be on every day. <laughs> Eventually, it will be on every uh, day. Rock T, is, Rock T is giving us some images of what he think you did over the weekend, oh, which was a workout. Work yeah. Lift your weights, Jack. <laughs> What'd you do, Rock? I know your son is playing baseball, uh, AAU style. I know you've been driving, and you're a real traveling parent. Hey, man, these eyes are burning right now. I'm sitting on about two hours of sleep. I had to drive to Houston, and my wife, she had to drive to Houston, too, but she was on the other side at a wedding. So it was just me and my son all weekend. Then I had to get back to be on the air this morning. Uh, so I'm on about two hours of sleep, barely, and that ain't really. Did he sleep. win? Just a quick nap. So I'm in, I'm in zombie right now. Did he win? Of course, yes. Cause all that driving and he lost, dog. I'd be like this the whole way. So you ain't want to hit nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he did well, man. I'm so proud of that little dude, man. So proud of him. That's what's up. I actually went to my first Atlanta United Major League Soccer match. Um, they played uh, Columbus and. Atlanta lost, but Atlanta's in the playoffs. That was the last uh, match before the playoffs. Took my grandson, took my son, three generations. My first times in the Mer- my first times, my first time in a Mercedes Benz Dome in Atlanta, and that thing is ignorant. That's it's all I'm gonna say. So you like the soccer game, right? Oh, I, I'm a I'm a football fan. I'm a football 
I'm a, a football, football fan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge people all the time. If you never got a chance to go to a World Cup soccer game, yeah. go. And I promise oh. you it would change. Man, it, even if you hate the sport, go to that one. World I Cup is special. You that ain't, these teams is out here representing their country. But let's let's talk about – let's start with college. Uh, you said at first Dion got him a win. Yes, sir, man. Arizona State, we all knew that was going to happen. You know, he's they're four and two right there. That they We chalked that up, we they chalked that up as a win before the season. I mean, why, the, why, we got all those damn great college football, football games on Saturday. But you want to start with a team that wasn't even on TV. So we're talking dude, about a team that didn't make He was hoping time. you would say that. Go ahead so and tell him. Let me say let me say this real fast. If I'm not mistaken, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Griff and Super Dave, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But Super Dave said that Colorado would not win more than three games this season. Did I did I say hear that right? He did. Okay, and, and what's their record right now? Four and two. Okay, that's all. We can move on. <clears throat> what's next? It was a it's, close it's win. I, I'd say this. Did you watch any of the game, No, Soup? I saw the end. Uh, Shador walked them boys uh, pretty much 80 yards, no, dog, 75 yards walk, at the end. He didn't walk. He didn't walk nobody. I mean, they were – Dion criticized his team after the game because the game shouldn't have been even close. They didn't show up that day. Arizona Arizona State had 392 yards uh, on the ground, were total yards, period. They dominated. And lost. They just couldn't close it because how do you not – this is the play right here. It's 24-24. But, okay, that's fine. You, I see the L. But it was 24-24. Final drive. If you're Arizona State, and you know that Shadir wants to throw it downfield to get in field goal range. How do you not? How do you let the guy slip past you and get wide open? Why are you still talking? Yeah, why is you? The game well, is over. Let's go to the next game. Next game. Yeah, no, they I'm won. Talking, no, four and two. Next, next game. game. And you the main. On. You the main I one. Move on. You, you the main. You the main one that come on. I said at the beginning of the season, them winning three games. Who cares? It's a freaking prediction. But believe me, this. I'm telling you this. That beat Stanford because I picked them to beat Arizona State and Stanford. Now he, but the now next he five after that, the Colorado. next five after you that, they will see, not win. You see how he's you see how he's changing out. Yeah, the next I game. Who's the I, next I didn't game, though? Anything. What did I change? <laughs> I'm not like you. I make predictions. It's you big deal. What you gonna do? Shoot me because I said they going they wouldn't go past three. Who cares? Hey. He gets so mad, one of them All bats off his hey. And if Colorado wins or loses, I ain't gonna blow my top. I'm so sick of you and the grip. Y'all got y'all heads so far up Colorado. He's about to explode. Hey, yeah. one of them bats off his t-shirt about to fly off. <laughs> it was other great games on Saturday. This great is strong. Play Colorado play. played a good game. Don't be a hater. What's the next game, dog? Hey man, let's go. Let's go to on Saturday. Was Texas OU? And neither one of y'all think that. You want to make predictions? I told I, you what I Actually, mean. actually, I don't even care about the big Red River shootout. Just for the record, between all of us, I don't care. Hey, that was, that was a prediction. prediction. That I was a fun it. game to watch. I that was a fun it. game to watch. Yeah, I it was, it. To me, that was the best game over the weekend to watch. Because, and I told you, we've always said this about Texas and the Miami Hurricanes. We said about some other teams, too. Maybe my, even my Cowboys. Are they back? And what we're finding out, Texas is a good team. I ain't taking anything away from them, but they're not back yet. OU showed exactly without their quarterback last season when they were shut out 49 nothing. This year was a different story. And exactly. Dylan Gabriel showed you on the offensive side what he can do passing the ball, but he went over 113 yards rushing on them. He killed them. And Gabriel was special, man. They look, he they look. I what happened I... With, with, with Quinn, with, uh, Texas quarterback? Two interceptions, one fumble. I know they'll see each other again in the Big 12 championship game, and we'll see what happens then. But right now, who has bragging rights? It's the OU. Sounders. Sure right. do. Now, you said it was the best game for me, and I just say best. Best is uh, – it was just – it was a good week of football. I actually enjoyed that Louisville-Notre Dame game. I Notre Dame never saw it coming. I know. I know. But just – Going into a little small stadium that ain't, you know, Notre Dame. Notre Dame is just a name. Like they just use their well, we name. Know like, well, we know that they got they got lucky the week before beating Duke. 
Duke was yeah, still nah. in the game. Duke lost that quarterback at the end. Duke should have won that game. Man. Yeah, yeah, so we're not yeah. saying Notre Dame are world beaters. So, no, I, I'm not surprised what Louisville did because Louisville, you can put points up, you can beat Notre Dame. And they Oklahoma had looks special, though. Who? Who is that? Oklahoma, your Sooners. Oh, I know Oklahoma. you're an Oklahoma fan. You had to be proud because that is a huge game for the uh, the, vis- the conference. Um, but you, and remember then- this? you remember this? When they hired Brent Venables from Clemson to come to Oklahoma, you on our podcast last year, you was like, who in the heck is Brent? I told you then. I you said, did. you won you two did. national championships with that. Clemson had defenses back then. With Dabo, with Dabo, Swing. Yeah, yep. exactly, with Dabo. They had defenses back then. What he brought in now, he got rid of all that trash, no matter how y'all look at it, I call it trash, that Lincoln Riley had on the defensive side, and he's bringing his guys in, and they won the line of scrimmage on the defense and offensive side. Speaking of Lincoln Riley, USC struggled oh against Arizona. Ooh. I told y'all, he's a fraud. And, and I, when I was watching this Super Dave, I said – Dave said they defense gonna uh, write a check that they can't cash, and it was check cashing day for Arizona Jack. Cause when that first of all, hate your kicker forever, hate your kicker forever with the twenty seven easy yard kick, chip and shot, hate him forever. Yeah, yeah. but still, <laughs> but still, Arizona. Oh, now, don't take anything from Caleb Williams. Because I'm telling you, without him, just like with Shadour with uh with Colorado, quarterback is very important. But without without Caleb Williams, we're not even talking about USC right now because their defense is garbage. Yeah, yeah. Defense is, out, you can't scored, you can't let how many how many rushing touchdowns did he have in the game? I think he scored two or three rushing touchdowns and one man. passing touchdown. Going he through them linebackers, dog. Yes. USC like, gonna probably have USC gonna have at least about two losses. Oh yeah. yes, yeah. because you ain't even played the meat of the schedule yet. You still got to play. That's what order. we were saying. That's what we oh were saying God. before the podcast. We was like, "What's the losses? Washington, Oregon, Oregon, or Oregon and Washington, and, Washington. and maybe and Washington, Washington State. State and UCLA if yes. you want to. Come on, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They and UCLA got that freshman quarterback. I'm telling you, you got you, and he's growing each and every week. Now here, now here's now what what we're witnessing now is the new version of Alabama because. I didn't think they would beat Texas A&M, but they found a way to win that ugly game, and this is how they're going to have to win games the rest, the rest of, the of the season. But Dave I said that, too. Me. Dave, I yep. said the same thing. I said, let me find out the Super Dave turned into a little sports prophet because I was watching that Alabama game, and I said, oh, Alabama going to lose, but this your fan base cannot be happy with these 17 to 15s and 19. <laughs> they, they, they can't be mad, but the bot they can be mad, but the bottom line is, is it's a W at the end. Yeah. They, they won like be- this a few years ago, and people didn't complain when they won a the national championship. Now, what I have a problem with Alabama, it ain't even with Jalen uh Milro, because I told you he'll throw you one pit, but he has a beautiful deep uh deep down the field ball that's gonna if he's throwing that spiral down the field deep. He can throw that. It's the short pass that he has a problem with. You know who he reminds me of when he's throwing that deep ball? Uh, Vince Young. Remember Vince that Young? That thing pretty, day? Jack. Yeah. That thing yeah. pretty, Jack. Man, tight. when Vince Young was at Texas. That's a tight oh. spiral, dog. Tight spiral down the field. <laughs> that's that's what just, I like. He, he throws it like a dart, just kind of, wow. <laughs> See, this is the problem wow. with Alabama. This is the problem with Alabama. They're, they're finally listening to what we've been saying the last two weeks, which is, Played to Milrow's strength. But the yeah. one thing, and you never saw this with Nick Saban teams before the last couple of years, which is too many down penalties, man. They making some dumb mistakes. 14 penalties in that game. That game should have been over early fourth quarter. But you're making stupid, boneheaded mistakes, and he's letting them get away with it. This is each and every week. Dog, I find myself rooting for Tua's little brother in Maryland the first half when it was 10-10 to against Ohio State. And I don't know what that man, I don't know what day came and told them boys at the half, but they never scored again. Maryland looked like garbage that second half. Ohio State won another game. that, But keep on, Ohio State Buckeye fans. Keep on. Keep on playing the – 
keep on playing an all right first half. Hey, Go I don't on. think. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I know where you. I know where you're leading to right now. I don't think Michigan gonna have a problem with Ohio State. I'm just being honest. At that's all. a rivalry game. See that? That's that's. It'll be hey, close. in Michigan. Mi- Michigan's defense may be the top defense in the I country. Give you that. I like for that. real. I I got a chance to watch a whole game. Yeah. And they defense they, is dope. Them though. boys peeled their ears back, dog. And again, it was. I don't even know who it was. Who was it? Minnesota, wasn't it? Yeah, Minnesota ain't been fresh my whole life. And I can say that to any uh, Minnesota fan. My I, whole I, life. I still want to see them in a good test. Because you guys see Penn State, right? Yeah, we got to see Penn State. We got to yeah. see Michigan State, that's, who's, that's, whose head coach got, whose head coach is out on creepy, creepy <laughs> allegations. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, so they not ready. They not together I, mentally. But I, like I know Michigan, what you're saying. I like Michigan defense, and I'm telling you, they're, they're good. But right. we got to play in Penn State too. That they ain't no easy me, win. It reminds me of what the Cowboys have done, and we, I'm not we're not talking Cowboys yet. But I'm just saying, it reminds me of what they've done the last few weeks. You can beat teams like the Jets because they have no quarterback. Uh, the Giants, they have no quarterback. But when you start playing teams with a quarterback. Then you have problems. I, I want to see Michigan when they start playing these other teams. Not Michigan State, but Penn State, Ohio State. I think they'll still be some classics. Do me a favor and not compare my amazing college football team's defense to your raggedy, raggedy, exposed on Monday night Dallas Cowboy defense, dog. Hey, Grow up. Hey, Rock, where was that? T- where was that defense at against TCU last year? Okay, move on. Thank you. Just move Point. on. Hey, I'm with you when you're right. Yeah, live in the past, die in the past. That's now, what you do. now where TCU that's what you at? Do. That's what TCU you do. ain't even what they they. Hey, TCU is officially out of the equation. But yeah, I got <laughs> Even though they lost this game, <laughs> you're about though, to beat me. First of all, first of all, Super Dave, you don't even know what you. <laughs> no. Uh, no, you're not gonna the, get me. The frogs, the frogs have officially hopped away. But oh, even though they lost this game, should we start paying attention to Missouri? Because they played LSU down to the wire. No, because LSU ain't got no, no defense. Yeah, That's Mizzou ain't. Problem. Mizzou is Mizzou ain't sorry. But I don't know. You know what? And I'm gonna just say what you say, Rock. This portal thing is is leveling out college because. Ain't no all because guess what? And Super Dave, you can say what you want to, and I'm gonna go back to it. When Deion Sanders gets an offensive line, it's over to protect his son. These big giant Nebraska, Iowa, Indiana, corn corn fed dudes, it's over. Six seven three eleven. No gym over. (laughs) What makes me mad when y'all say that is. Which is fine. That you can say you can have your own opinion. All I'm saying is when you bring that up about when Dion gets this and Dion and all his receipts and crap, other teams are gonna do the same thing. No, right I know, now, but okay, that's, that's, that's the problem. That just, that's the yeah. problem. Alabama was it was always Alabama and all you know the and Florida Alabama got size. And, they got beef, but they're hold just on. stop top oh. t- stop the press. Did Dave just say what I think he said? What? Did he just say all the other teams are gonna do the same thing. That's my point. It's leveling. Did he just admit no, that? No, but the portal's been going on forever, man. Don't do that. Don't he don't do even that. realize he just admitted it and no, agreed. I Griff. Didn't admit it. The portal's been going on forever. No, hey, Griff. no. Griff, what did he say? Did I? Did you hear the same thing I heard? Oh my God! You no. know what I thought? You know, for a minute, I thought I was uh, thought I was dreaming. I ain't even. <laughs> I didn't even know where I was at for a second. So that's our college. That's pretty much well, all no, the college. Girl, I got one more. What else? I got one more. Because I, I brought up teams that we've always said and people always said making a comeback. The Miami Hurricanes, the way they lost that football game over the weekend to Georgia Tech. You Georgia. had the game. And I'm in with, Atlanta, with, so you know. With 30, with, 30, with 30 seconds left, you had the, you had it on their, what, twenty at the 30-yard line? Yep. And you could have you could have took a kneel, just kneel, and you win the game. He handed the ball off and what, what kind of football is that, dog? Fumble the ball. Georgia Tech gets it back, but then they ain't the killer. You know they want to go deep because they want to win the football game. How do you let this is like the same thing we saw against Arizona State? 
Yeah. How do you let somebody get past you? Come on. As DBs. Come on. They should have been in prevent from the beginning. Huh? That was. They should have been in prevent. That was that was awful, dog. That's the time you use prevent, and they didn't do it. It was horrible, man. Oh my. That fumble though. That's that's hard to have a good week, dog. If you if you a student athlete, dog. (laughs) That's one of the things that get your coach fired. Like for real. I was gonna say that. I agree with you. That's that's a bone. Come on, dude. Simple. Thirty seconds left, rock. If you don't kneel, I think all three of us bonehead mistake. Bonehead mistake. Thirty second, whatever. I'm trying to kneel on a fifty three. Exactly. <laughs> One eleven. Use your timeouts. I'm near. I'm. I'm using. Get victory formation. Don't exactly. even put your cleats on. Come out here with some Crocs. What did you say? <laughs> say the word again. Victory formation. Victory formation. Right. It's simple. That's it. One twenty three cool. left. Victory formation. They got two me. timeouts. Miami frauds <laughs> too. Miami man. They are frauds, man. How you lose the football game like and that? And I and I root for Miami because I because I want to see the Hurricanes return to greatness. We I all really, do. I really do. We've been saying that for for a couple of years, and they still ain't made it there yet. So we'll, well see. Speaking of Dion Primetime Sanders, let's talk about his uh, company filing for a few trademarks, and uh, I love it. One of the greatest football players to ever hit the freaking field. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, He's turning into a, a very amazing football coach. He's been winning on every level since Pee Wee to high school and now college. No comment. Go and ahead. Now, There's no comment. Along the way, he's always been a shrewd businessman. A lot of people don't give him credit, but the dude is a very sharp businessman. I Absolutely. Who don't give him credit for that? No, I don't give him credit on that. Yeah. He, he's, there's, there's some haters out there that say, hey, wait, Dion, you know, he got this. Yeah, it's fine. But, Man, come on, man. The dude I saw making- him on Saturday Night Live in 1993 doing the Must Be the Music. Yes, sir. On Saturday Night Live, dog. It must be the money, must be though. Money. Must, must be, be the, the money, money. Looking like Hammer. <laughs> yes, sir. With his, hype oh. guy, with his hype guy behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dog. So now his company filed for a few trademarks with some of his um, catchphrases. Uh, let's run down the list real fast. Bull junk. Now, you know, Dion don't cuss. He don't, I know. He, don't he cuss. hasn't cussed since he, he was drink. a sophomore in college. He don't smoke nothing. So instead of saying BS, he says bull junk. That's pretty much getting real popular. It's a big hashtag on social media right now. Everybody's saying it. We already know. Give me my theme music. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's trying to trademark that one right there. Can you take that from... One of our movies, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Did they ever say that? I'm gonna, I know they said something about a superhero always. I've been, mean, yeah, you know, we all we've been saying that for a long time in the, in the black community, but right. ain't nobody trademark it. Business sense, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go trademark this bad boy, and uh, it's personal. That's not trademark yet. That's gonna be. A, that's like one of those. That's like the Nike slogan. Just do it. If he gets, it's personal. Game changer, right there, bro. And that's something we've been saying for forever. But, but he's trademarking it. Trademark it. Yeah, I'm about Mark to sit business. here and trademark me some stuff. Let me write down some stuff I'll be saying, dog. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you one, uh uh Griff. Trademark this. Raiders are sorry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on down the list there, buddy. Moving Straight on down garbage. the list. <laughs> the next one he gonna keep we keep receipts. That ain't no. Housewife of Atlanta trademark that yet? <laughs> they about to find out. And the Fans last one is one of them. The last one is ain't nobody care. <laughs> I can see that catching on, especially in the hood. Ain't nobody care. <laughs> but does somebody have the um? Because I know I saw this on the on the side of his hoodie. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. I'm him. I am him. I, 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 I actually, I actually that. like the "I'm him" phrase. Yeah, I, I hope he, well, we've heard it, but we've heard it more be- before him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We've been saying that. I've been, I say that after Madden wins. Uh, it's because I'm him. That's why. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So once again, man, we're gonna see if he gets approved and how many of these approval. But uh, the "Give Me My Theme" music is personal, and I, I, I mean those, those are two that I can see, you know, moving and even bull junk. Is 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 as corny as bull junk sound that can move some merchandise, some t-shirts, and so on and so forth. So but here is one that he should 
go ahead and do a trademark on. We average. Just put that out there. We average. <laughs> hey, don't even waste your sound effect machine on that response, sir. <laughs> we average. And he yeah, also has great. he has the uh, almond commercial. Y'all seen him with the um, with the pajamas on or whatever? Oh, the California, with... the California yeah. almonds or something. Yeah. Is it California? Is it almonds? It's, it's just almonds. Yeah, yeah, the California trade, almonds. I see that. Hey, you know he what? Got... The, the, you said that funny commercial with him and um the Aflac, the new Aflac commercial with him and Saban. Yeah, when he, when he's like, man, when uh, the goat come out. The goat come out. He said, how are we going to handle these goats? He said, meet my new homie. A buffalo comes in. And, and then, then Saban Saban say, it would have been more impressive if it was an elephant. I love it. I love yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm so let's go to the NFL. Y'all yeah. make me. that. What? I think it's y'all. Y'all make me hate Dion and hate the Colorado Buffalo. No, you, know you, what? Know you, got, you got hate in your heart, dog. You are the Grinch. That don't have nothing to do with nobody in Whoville. You by yourself, <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think you think hey. we want you to steal our presents, dog? That's just your spirit. <laughs> Super Dave is the Grinch and the Scrooge together. Mitch, man, <laughs> they roommates. They just hey, sit there in that mountain trying to figure out how can we be mean to people for no reason. Don't worry, they'll be Stanford, and after that, they'll lose the next five, and I'll be happy. The Grinch the will be happy. Five. Yeah. Let's talk about the NFL, man. We ain't got waste Let's talk time about our picks. All right, so we uh NFL last week. We had a couple couple games that was like, what in the world just happened? But what let's start off. World? Let's just go through them. Okay, go Washington ahead. and the Bears. Me, Jay, and Rock pick Washington. Uh, Jay Phillips, our guest from last week. Um, and Dave, you picked the Bears. Who won? The Bears. Yeah, good pick. Oh, wow. 40 to 20. Oh, that was at 40 to 21. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we all picked Buffalo and we all lost. <laughs> really? Like, come on, man. And they got Von Miller back yesterday on Sunday. Yeah, I know. And they still lost that and football they, game. I, the, I don't the, understand it. I don't. I picked the Colts and Dave picked the Colts. Rock, you and Jay picked the Titans. Y'all lost. Um, the next game. What's that? I can't even Baltimore, Pittsburgh. Uh, I Dang. picked Baltimore. We all picked Baltimore across the board. And Pittsburgh won. Did y'all watch yes. that game? Man, Pittsburgh. I mean, what Baltimore gave. They, Baltimore, another... that second half, they have second half problems on the offensive side. And that one interception uh, that uh, Lamar Jackson threw in the end zone, yeah, uh, that was horrible. It's supposed well, to be the last over. five minutes made everybody's oh. stomach hurt. Like, that was oh. a – that was – and you was like – you ain't know who to pick for no more. It was oh man, that was a crazy <laughs> game. Uh actually you picked Pittsburgh, Dave. Oh. No, you picked the Saints in the next game. Dave, you did pick the Saints. I picked the and, Saints too, right? No, nah, me and you picked uh the what am I reading? Rock, you picked the Saints. There and you Jay go. picked the Saints. I'm I'm trying to remember our we all picked Houston. Rock picked Atlanta. Atlanta won that game. Come on, um, everybody picked the Lions. The Lions is out here four and one. <laughs> the Should Lions be five and over. Let's go. Before we move on, because I'm a, I, I'm gonna give you and your your Lions the props. They they're having fun. They are really having fun on the offensive side, and that's the problem. The, I don't know about the defensive side, but from what I see with golf, he had he had what three touchdowns yesterday. One of them a rushing touchdown. Um, they have a running game. The them running boys is special, they, dog. They, they are special. Hey, Camel, Camel has them believing, man. Hey, they gonna get to the NF. They gonna get to the NFC Championship, and then the 49ers gonna send them home before the 49ers head to the play uh, to the Super Bowl. But the, the Detroit Lions gonna be a problem. I'm saying it right now. Um, NFC Championship is strong. One day, yeah, let's eventually, just like, let's just let them be in the playoffs. And I like them. Hey. I'm not saying nothing. At the beginning of the season, yes, it was a little bit strong to, to say it. But right now, oh, no. <laughs> hey, hey, they better than the Cowboys. Rock. That's all I'm going to say. Rep your, they better than the Cowboys. Team, Rock. They better than the Cowboys. <laughs> oh, did you, what, was your, what was your prediction at the beginning of the season for Detroit? I said they said get to they'll the make it round. to the playoffs. I said they'll get to the second round. 
Okay, second round, not the NFC Championship game. No, but no. now I'm putting them in the NFC NFC Championship. Now, we ain't, now. Yet. We ain't got there yet. Second, well, second round, how, you guess who else ain't get there yet? We all picked Miami. You said we picked Miami. All of us. Yeah, that was easy. I yeah. know they won. Then right? I picked yeah. Cincinnati. Jay and Dave picked Arizona, and Rock, you got Cincinnati. Who won that game? Cincinnati is. From for what we saw with one game, Burrow looked like Burrow. Yeah, they said, week. yeah, Jamar Chase had three Burrow touchdowns. They was like, here go the here go the team we gave all that money to. There they go. And Chase, Chase 192 yards in that game, three touchdowns. If Burrow can stay he- healthy, they're back. They'll be back in the mix. Because that division is going to be tight, the division they're in. That uh, that next game, me and Rock picked Philly. You and Jay, uh, picked the Rams. Uh, everybody picked the Jets except you, Dave. You picked Denver. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing hey. when they was losing. I was like, "That's what he get." Up. Hey. What do Sierra husband think he got? The Chiefs and 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 Taylor Swift and the Swifties. We all picked them. Even now, though Taylor didn't show up to that game, I picked the Fairy Niners. She didn't. Jay picked the Fairy Niners, Dave picked Dallas, and Rock picked the Fairy Niners. Let's yeah. let's talk about that game for a minute. Right now, in a in a rivalry that really shouldn't be a rivalry, but it really go back to the nineties with when when <laughs> when it re- I, I I remember the 49er fans in eighty nine and ninety one. But you know it was Dallas, 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 Dallas. Y'all can't, and I say y'all, I'm talking to Super Dave. Y'all can't beat the 49ers, dog. That's a that's a problem. That's a what game you got. This don't have nothing to do with the division or not. That got everything to do with the conference. Yes, y'all gotta beat thing. the 49ers. Like the Raiders can't beat the Chiefs. Like the like Raiders, we we gotta no, beat them. Like let's not call it what it is. We saw what happened last year in the playoffs against the 49ers. We saw what happened. Sunday against the 49ers. And that was the worst loss between these two teams since they've been playing each other. Yeah. What we saw was bad quarterback play. Now they look bad across the board on the defensive side too, but you left your defense out there high and dry because your offense couldn't do anything. Dak, was he 12 of 24, 153 yards? Three. He had them kind of stats. The three, dog. This many. Three. three. That's what a little three kid turnovers. say. He, he had this many. He had one turnover. In the first four games, he got three against the 49ers. And two of them, I mean, especially one of them, but going to going to Cooks was go all, all, all that. The turnover. Let me see. Go down there. Oh, Dak Prescott's turnover. Yeah. Wow. Pepperidge this, Farm. To me, <laughs> this is the problem. And this is why when turnover you look at the, what, um, what uh, Michael Parsons said last year after the playoff game, he said, we played good enough to win. Now, in this game, they didn't have a chance. because No. Nah. That, that 49er ball. defense was, I mean, the you defense felt, was the 49ers, but of course, the Cowboys offense didn't help it. They have too much, they call it the Texas Coast. I call it the Texas Burnt Toast because it was it was getting burnt out there. It was horrible, man. Dog, Not just you, that, the receivers they couldn't get open. No, Dak. We blame it on Dak. You I can't get 150 yards. Yeah, you can't get 150 yards. You can blame it on that defense is that defense is playing elite football right now. They're five and oh. It's only two undefeated teams in the league. It's the Eagles. The Eagles really just got past that. The Eagles gonna get a loss, a couple losses this season. But the Eagles, the Eagles and the 49ers, they don't play each other in the regular season. They're not on the schedule, right? No, no. Is it look? I know what's no, early. my homeboy said they did. My 49er yeah, fan play, 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 uh, from Reach. Let me check. Even if they do. Right. It don't matter in the regular season. The 49ers, <laughs> the, the 49ers, the 49ers could possibly go undefeated, bro. Like, not only, I mean, maybe one defeat. Maybe they can have one hiccup game. But if they stay healthy, I don't see nobody beating these boys, man. Like, for real. Like, after watching, I've, I've seen three of their games this season. Like from start to finish, yo, they for real, man. Like you got to give Brock Purdy his his props because if people say he's probably a bus driver, that young no, man got it together. 
he got it together. He was the last <laughs> pick in that in that a uh, couple years in that draft. You look at what he did last season when he came in, and since then he's won ten straight regular season football games. Not oh. counting the loss against the Philadelphia Eagles in the playoff, but ten straight regular season games. Last week against Arizona, he had one incomplete pass. One. Yeah, and, and he had has he even thrown, he hadn't even thrown an interception yet this year. Has no, he hadn't thrown an interception yet. That's the other part about it. Put him in the Super Bowl right and, now. And the Cowboys defense. This is this is the bad part about it. The Cowboys defense only give up two passing touchdowns this season, right? And first four games. Yeah, they gave up three. He treated them. He treated that defense like they was doggone a doggone pop Warner football team. Like it wasn't even and he. He was he does it so effortlessly, major. Yeah, he, he, yeah, good. like you he see really him, does. he's so Ooh. poised. He's so he could, could guess why. When you got nine minutes to throw, you also he has, have he has a great offensive line. <laughs> you also get to stand up tall and look left, look right, check down, look he again. Has the other thing too, the running game. The running game plays a big factor. The Cowboys that, that damn Christian McCaffrey. Never forget what he did at Stanford, and he looking like that boy again. MVP, yeah. MVP. That white boy, he might, he could possibly get it, man. That's one of his great games. The, 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 the Eagles do play San Francisco December third at the Link in Philadelphia. Tonight is uh. Well, hold on, I'm gonna give you this last thing about Dak. Since we, I've been dogging out Dak, and I told you this back in the day, uh, uh Griff, when you used to always say, "Why are you dogging your Cowboys out?" But, this is why I can't get happy. I can never get happy because they do this kind of stuff. I did it against Arizona, a game they were supposed to win. Now I picked them to win against the 49ers, but the me the major factor, and I think we all said this, the Dak factor. But I want y'all to remember this. Dak in 2012, he was at Mississippi State. He sent out a tweet. I don't know if you guys remember this. He sent out a tweet talking about Romo. In that Redskin game in the playoffs against uh RG3 his first year. What do you say? Uh, saying, I'm done talking about Romo. When Romo threw the interception, he was throwing a lob to um to DeMarco Murray, but it got picked off. Mm -hmm. He dogged, he dogged him out on Twitter, and he also said, No, he doesn't uh finish. He said he oh, I'm looking at I'm trying to look at the text. It went away. He said, No, he doesn't finish, and none of those interceptions were because of the offensive line. So what is he saying about himself now? Ooh. Oh, it's the same. That. It's the same. He need to tweet that to it. He need to put dear dad. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Roma can come back to haunt you. What did, what did Herm Edwards always say? The used to be the uh, head coach of the Jets, ESPN commentator. What do you yep. always say? Don't push sin because it could, it could come back to haunt you. It's yep. coming back to haunt him right now. That well, was I think what's, what's coming back to haunt Dak is – and I and I was rooting for the young brother, man. I just don't think he understands that. Like, you got the elite quarterbacks, you got your Joe Burrows and your your boy from the Bills. And hell, I'll put Tua over Dak right now. Like you, I mean, uh, Kansas City Chief quarterback, and then Dak just falls into this this category that you don't. I mean. Derek Carr is better than Dak Prescott for reals, statistically, and no, he's not. No, no, he's no, not. no, he's not. Because no, let me, what do, what do we gauge? How do we rank players? Derek Carr ain't better than Dak no, Prescott. He's not. No, he's not. Not no, he's statistically. Not. He, he no. So here, I'm about to not prove statistically. It right. Not statistically, and here, here, I'm about to, I'm about to he prove is it because he's been playing longer than Dak. Well, he put the glasses on. Hold on, he put the glasses, I got the glasses on. on. Oh, okay, okay. On. let me let me be quiet. Go ahead. I'm, I'm put going on. into uh, sports genius mode now. Okay, yeah. So, go ahead. In the in their first seven seasons as quarterback in the NFL, mm -hmm. Dak Prescott. 2,185, I'm sorry, 2,185 completions, 24,943 yards, 166 touchdowns, 65 interceptions. All those numbers lead the next three quarterbacks behind him. Drew Brees is number two. Ben Roethlisberger is number three. Tom Brady is number four. Their first seven seasons 
in the league. Tom Brady had he threw 86 touchdowns, uh, 86 interceptions within his first seven uh, seven seasons. So your first seven seasons in the league, Dak Prescott is in the history of the NFL number one in all those statistical categories. How about that? Now I'll I, and great, thank you for that. I'm talking about statistics <laughs> right now. Derek Carr's all his yards. And Dak Prescott's yards, Derek Carr is better than Dak Prescott. What is we talking about? That's a dumb. I can't believe we even argued. They've okay, been in on. the league long. Guess what? It's the best way of saying this. We're all GMs, and these are only two only two quarterbacks you can bring in. Why are you laughing? I love DC, dog. I believe in DC. Go ahead, go ahead and ask the question. Okay. And this is on your job as a GM. This you is see? next year. Two your quarterbacks is over. Your came to you and said, if this doesn't work, you're getting fired. So it's between Carr and Dak, and Dak Prescott. Who are you taking? Dak. I hate to say it because you can throw out all the stats you want, but I'm looking at wins too. And I ain't saying he won a playoff game. No, nah, but, but he's he, done. you're right. Wins Why? is important. Wins is the major a major factor. <laughs> I'm going with that. Wins is the most. And Carr ain't done crap. He hasn't with the Raiders. You know that. How many playoffs? Such, how many playoffs? He's such a good quarterback, though, dog. You hear my low self-esteem? I sound like a child. I said he's really just the best guy, though. Like, if, like a if you wanted a quarterback friend, you should get Derek Carr, dog. I, I, I don't want to be a GM. But hey, oh. Rock, it's the same guy that said he did he was happy to get rid of Carr at the time, right? Right. No, right. I wasn't happy. I was mad that they let Derek Carr go. Remember, I've I've been mad about it. But been so, mad about it. Okay. so it's safe to say that um I'm nine and four this week on my picks, and we still got one at the point at the time of this episode. <laughs> yeah. There's one game left, and that's Green Bay at the Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. I think I picked Green. I know I picked Green Bay. I, I think I picked the Raiders, didn't I? Y'all split it. Uh, I picked Vegas. Uh, Jay picked Vegas. Dave, you picked Green Bay. Rock, you picked Vegas. Okay, so I think Raiders going to win this one at home. I think they're going to win too, dog. I feel something. Yeah. Don't get me started, dog. Man, look at him. We got all that black out for no reason. <laughs> Like a fool in that stuff because they ain't you know what's funny, dog. I ain't seen you were a cowboy, nothing. You don't want this fan smoke. I'm a fan. I I I'm a fan. Sundays and also, Mondays. But I'm Saturdays. also a smart fan. Man, I know they, you are I you know ain't no cowboy do. fan, dog. Show me a tattoo. Leave me alone. <laughs> and I'm getting a I... Michigan tattoo in a week and a half. And I ain't go there. How about that? We're doing NFL picks <laughs> now. A... We're, doing, we're doing NFL picks now. All right. Try to going, change the subject. We, we go through Derek Carr. <laughs> <laughs> He's still stuck on Derek Carr. Boy, Derek we'll be Troy. right back with this hey, week's picks. After after what after what I saw Sunday, I ain't that high on that. But oh, between those two, I'm going with that. All right, let's get the picks popping, baby. <laughs> I'm tired of smoking y'all every week, man. Yeah, I'm. A, I've been get. I've been losing bad, bad. You've been up there, Dave, but you also been losing the L is the L, Arizona. Go ahead. Who we got? <laughs> let's start with let's start Thursday with the Thursday game. night the Thursday yeah. night game. The Broncos at the Chiefs. Chiefs. Let me tell you what the Chiefs is gonna do to Sierra Husband. <laughs> we hey. all got the Chiefs cross. All, all right. got the Chiefs. Man, hey, right. hey, hey, if Wilson lose two more games, he's gonna get benched by Peyton. Watch. Let me tell you something. If Peyton Lynn would lose a couple more games, he going – it's it, it, but he the quarterback whisperer, dog. What I, happened? I, I Are promise you, not? you, in his contract, he's got at least three years oh, to try to good. get his own people in there. He's good right now, but yeah. it, it didn't help that the Jets – Dog, Russell him, getting right? stats, though. That's the problem. Russell – Yeah, but that was a bad fumble against the Jets. And, and when, he came the, when he came to the sideline, Sean Payton got in his ass. He really did. He was mad. Because he know what he said at the beginning of the season. What did he say about the last year's coach? What did he say? He said it was that was the that was the worst coaching job in NFL history. Back Damn. then. Did he say now that? that guy's the offensive coordinator for the Jets, and the Jets just beat the Broncos. Let me Sunday. say the Jets is out here. The Jets is out here doing they they trying to be. We don't really believe yet. Yeah, we don't believe yet. Oh, Who the next that, guy? I'm just saying I'm going with the Chiefs. I think it's easy. Across All the of world. us. 
Uh, Sunday, here's the Sunday games. Uh, Ravens at the Titans. This is tricky. I got the Titans. I think that I think that Stiller loss took a lot out of them. Nah, and then Ravens the Titans just the Titans just barely lost to the Colts. Ravens gonna bounce back. I got Baltimore. I just don't trust the Ravens offense in the second half. They look bad against Pittsburgh. I don't know if that's more of Pittsburgh or more. We so used to the Ravens having a defense, and with them yeah. not having one, it's weird, dog. I'm going, I'm going with the Titans. I'm going with the Titans there. All right. Uh, the Commanders at the Falcons. It's I'm the same. Wow, what a team. horrible game, dog. <laughs> dirty birds, dirty birds, dirty at birds. The, in Atlanta, oh, and that Desmond Ritter boy ain't lost the home game. I got, I got the Falcons. I got Atlanta too. All right, cross the board. The Seahawks at the Bengals. That's gonna be a good game, bro. That's actually gonna be. That's actually gonna be a. This gonna be. This gonna be the test for Cincinnati. I got the Bengals. They could pull. They could pull back to five hundred if they beat Seattle. I got the Bengals. I got the Bengals too. I think they're back, and this is one of my teams I had in the Super Bowl, so I need them. I'm going with Seattle, man, because I like Geno's defense. Okay, the Colts at the Jaguars. Jacksonville, because the Colts Jack. quarterback is out. It's a wrap. Jax. Who you Give got? Jacksonville. Give me Jackson. Right, Jax across the board. That's a scary game. Jacksonville. One it's a, it's a division game, too. Yeah. And Are they after playing last playoffs? week, after yesterday's scores, dog, I don't know. How Jacksonville I mean, went to Buffalo and handed them boys something. They <laughs> never that, saw that, that coming. No. Is that Jacksonville team or is it London's team? Because they played in London yesterday. They play back-to-back games in London. Oh, they have been there for two. They've been in Europe. <laughs> is, That's is right. Jacksonville? Chilling. They ain't the played London in America. Jaguars. They ain't got no wins in America. <laughs> <laughs> the London Jaguars. The London Jaguars. <laughs> LGZ. The Panthers. This is easy. The Panthers at the Dolphins. Oh, Dolphins, man. Give me the Dolphins. Yes. I was happy to see Bryce get his get three touchdowns against uh, last week. Last yeah, week. now get a win. Yeah, got to get a win. Yep. The Vikings at the Bears. Bears? I ain't going to say Bears are back. I'm, just... I'm, I am I am picking Chicago for the same reason that you – I way to, way, to, way to get a hold of yourselves. Way to play like grown men in the NFL. Way to play like people that's getting two checks a month. I like the Bears right now. But I'm just a side they... note, Rock, before you make your pick. I shouldn't give you this. Jefferson may not play. He pulled oh. up. He with Minnesota, a, yeah, hamstring uh, oh, yeah. In, the, in the final minutes last Ooh, week. I'm, I was I'm not sure that he's gonna play, but he didn't. Who play you got, Dave? I got, uh, I got Chicago. I All think right. the Bears gonna go back to being the Bears, man. Uh, with or without Jefferson, I'm going with Minnesota. I hate but it's it. Funny, I it's like funny it. how the Vikings would win these close games last year. Man, they be they losing them. They losing all exactly. <laughs> they remember, they started nine and zero, eight and zero, seven and nine and one. They were winning close games by three, by seven. Now they're losing those same games now. Defenseless. Uh, this was easy. 49ers at the Browns. Really? Uh, Deshaun gonna get Deshaun gonna get hurt in real life. Like 49ers, <laughs> man. Across the Fred board. Warner is gonna give him a massage himself when he huh? comes to get him in the backfield. <laughs> That was a good one. That, that was a good one. That was actually, hold on. Hold on. That, that, I actually enjoyed that one. <laughs> give, me, give me the Niners. <laughs> give me the Niners. Yeah. The Saints at the Texans. Saints, baby. Who that? <sighs> Who that? Because you know what? It's not much saying that you beat the Patriots right now. Yeah, the that's Patriots right. I'm, yeah, I'm going Who with that, that boy. I like that Ohio State quarterback at quarterback in Texas. I ain't going to yeah, lie. I'm, I'm, going I'm going with the Texans. The sorry ass team Patriots. Can you believe? Wait a minute. This? Wait a minute, Rock. Who you go? Oh, who you, you saying got? who that? Okay, I said who that, baby. Okay. All right, Patriots at the Raiders. Oh, I got the Raiders. If the Raiders don't win this game, you know Josh won last year. We ain't win a lot of games last year, but he did beat Belichick. <laughs> like, this is the only one I'm giving y'all. It's the only one. All right, the I'll take it. That bad, and I think Belichick it. might be either he gonna retire. Or no, they gonna force him. Yeah, they're gonna force him into retirement. Like yeah, they gonna force him to retire. It's been it's, it's his, his plays is the. It, 
We I mean, you know, it. Popovich is before. somebody who used the same plays, but not the same plays. He used the same mentality. Your boy's been doing it too, but he's losing all his youth. So yeah. as coaches, so he out there sounding like an old man telling these young dudes, like he, I don't, he's not a player's coach. Everybody know that. And I just think it's a disconnect right now. He's sounding like an but old dude. This, that but we've seen goes, this before. We've seen this with Don Shula. We've seen this with Tom Landry. As you start to wind down, you start to see these young guys, these young coaches coming in and creating. And they used to be success. you. That's all. Yeah, it used to be they you. used exactly. to be you. It is. That's true. Rock, oh, who you got? It, it goes back It goes back to saying um, all the rumors on why Belichick and Tom Brady started uh, going, started exactly. pumping heads. Because yeah. Brady was like, he literally – Allegedly, he literally took over the offense and say, "Man, I'll call the plays." Because you he, know what I'm saying? He never got a receivers either. He never got him a. a they got the one quality receiver that one year with Randy Moss. Right? No, he had them, He always had a good slot. A slot. He never had I'm a, a receiver. Yeah. No, he, he ain't never had a number one. Except no. Randy Moss that year when Randy Moss played. The year they brought. Let me tell you why I hate that year so much. He leaves the Raiders with three touchdowns. Goes to New England and breaks the NFL record. I loathe Randy Moss. I love he, him. He got bored playing with the Raiders. That's what he said. We ain't had no quarterbacks. He a real you know, wide receiver. He was over there looking. He was feeling like he was glad he was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Rock? Las Vegas? Yeah. I said oh, okay. The yeah. Okay. Okay. It's Detroit Lions at the Buccaneers. This could be a good game. Detroit, baby. Yeah, this, I'm going with this is real too, football, though. baby. We ain't, we ain't. This ain't no hype fan over here that's gonna pick my team just because. Lions gonna beat Tampa Bay too. Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay could get lifted in this game, dog. Like really exposed out there. Okay, I'm going with Tampa. I love it. <laughs> go, go, go ahead. The Cardinals at the Rams. Rams. Yeah. Give me you the, got Rams. the Rams. Yeah, yeah Rams across the board. All right. This is an easy one. Eagles at the Jets. Uh-oh. It's not easy. Green against green. That ain't Philly easy. for me. It no, ain't easy. Eagles, I think the Eagles are finding their way now because you look what happened they last They still week. lose. They they not out there. I mean, dominant. I, they got a harder week. schedule. Huh? Jalen looked good last week. Jalen was putting – Jalen Hurst put some numbers up last week. He probably week. played his best game of his career yeah, so far. He did. Who who but do you who you I'm got? I'm taking the Jets. I wow. said it. I'm taking the Jets. I'm taking the Jets. First loss for the Eagles this year. I want that to be true. I, but I, I wouldn't be mad at it. Who you got? Yeah, I'm not going to be mad at it with you. I forgot you to get that I'm... heartbeat. Jay Phillips said we be picking with our heart. I forgot to get the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, we got to play I'm that. With the, I'm going with the Eagles. Even though I, I, I like your pick, I just can't pick them. Can't Let me them. ask you both while we're talking about the Eagles. Do you care about this tush play, this. Everybody get close Everybody's and doing it. Yeah, I mean, but they, what they're saying is some players are getting hurt. I didn't need that. <laughs> too much meat. Too yeah. much meat. <laughs> but you know what? I I would. I'm waiting for somebody to look like they're gonna be in a tush, and then put a running back in motion and give him a little. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody looking, the defenses is coming together like that. You just got to stall a little bit and like a like something that uh. Uh, Kansas City Chief quarterback always do, you know, a right. quick little, the, yeah, no, yeah, the no yeah. Little clip, absolutely. Yeah. Dan Marino used to do that too. I saw Dan Marino do that too. What you're talking about, a little right, flip that, right yeah. there, yeah. You think you're doing something else? Okay, so we all, I'm going with the, I'm going with the uh, Eagles. No, I got Eagles, the Jets. Jets. Yeah, okay. The Giants at the Bills. Bills. Bills gonna be so mad. They are gonna take it out on. Yeah. <laughs> they are gonna take it out. Bills across the board. And I think Daniel's hurt. Daniel Jones is hurt. I think they, it's, they, they, I mean, the whole squad is hurt. I'm about he to say that could, that could help them. <laughs> yeah, that might help them in the end. Plus, no Saquon Barkley. I don't know if he's coming back this week or next week. And then the Monday Nighter. The Cowboys going against Kellen Moore, the former Ooh. offensive coordinator. San Diego? In San Diego. The Las Vegas, what is the Las what, is, what do they call themselves? The, the LA, the LA yeah. charge. I can't, I still call hey, them San Diego. Charges San Diego, to Chargers to me. San Diego. Yeah. it will always be San Diego Chargers, and the Raiders yeah. will always be Oakland Raiders to me. Yeah, agree, dog. Agree. That's gonna be a good uh, game. 
the Cowboys go, are the Chargers ain't one, play last week, huh? So they had a bye week. What's the, one the, thing, the one thing Mike McCarthy is good about after a loss, they find a way to bounce back and win. So I'm gonna stick with them and go with the Cowboys here. And, and you're not playing the 49ers, you're playing the San Diego Chargers. Well, the Chargers, yeah. period. And I don't trust their coach because he will make some boneheaded mistakes. He's been yeah, bailed I'm, out a couple of games this year already. I don't see Cowboys losing back to back games. They, they, yeah, really they had a yeah, but the Chargers had a little break, dog. They ain't played football in the, in the they was off last week. I got the Cowboys. I got the Cowboys. You ain't even a Chargers fan. You I'm not, on. but I like Justin Herbert and that defense, dog. Khalil don't Mack fight, and them. Don't fans fight at the game. The Raiders Bosa. And the oh no, we don't have fun with San Diego like that. Yeah, we, okay. we fight the uh the Broncos and the okay. 49ers actually is the teams we don't. I'm going with San Diego, dog. I there like Justin go. Herbert. Justin Herbert is a better quarterback, period. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I give you that, but but it's uh, Cowboys. And you don't remember, you don't remember that the Chargers got Bosa and Khalil and another monster. Like they, they got defense too. I mean, only only reason I would bring up Camille Mack is what he did to your quarterback a couple of weeks ago when he had six sacks. <laughs> and a six. He was six getting sacks. sacks on a bye week. <laughs> <laughs> he just sacked him again. Khalil Mack. Him and, him and him and him and our quarterback sleep in the same bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here, dog. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh, before no. we go, before we go, introduce our new segment, HBCUs. Yes, indeed. All right. So before we get up out of here, there's two things that we got to mention. First, uh, rest in peace to the great Dick Butkus, one of the greatest to ever play Man. the linebacker position with the Chicago Bears. But the hashtag you can't use is "Do it for Dick." You got to put. That's that's what I said on the radio on when he on Friday morning. I was like, "Man, do it for Dick." And then that's well, I said the Bears did it for Dick, and then they was all looking at me. I was like, "Do it for Buckus." <laughs> Can you say that even? Because that's like saying "Do it for Butt." <laughs> yeah. One one thing back in the day, at the other station I used to work at, and we had a, a, a everyday show Monday through Friday. And Dick Vermeer, this is after they won a Super Bowl with um, the, the Rams. The, the Rams. Yep. Yeah, the Rams. And he cried on stage, and we were talking about him. And I was like, man, you got to love Dick. <laughs> Vermeer. Vermeer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful with that dog on you man. Be you got to be careful. You do. So – before we leave, man, every uh, every week starting now, we're going to highlight one of our heroes and sheroes that attended or currently attend our historically black colleges and universities. We hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, Rock Teasy is who I beasy. It's your boy Griff, Raider Nation, dog. Green Bay will fall. And, and I hate Shaw the homies. They say she always in Dion's ass. I'm pretty sure. Why not have Dion every week for the HBC? You know, I mean, I only ended with that every single week. I'm cool with that. See, I but told you that's what y'all want. That's why I get mad. Hey, the prime effect is real, and I'm on the bandwagon. Let's go, homie. And this is your boy Super Dave. But guess what, y'all? We don't, we don't, we don't, don't care, care about nothing except putting this foot on my wife's neck. <laughs> Deuces. Ah, I hate the homies. <laughs> <laughs>